Good evening, everybody. I am DadBod. Tonight, I'm finally doing it. I'm making the A-Horn installation video that everyone's been asking for. So uh, let's just hop in and get started. A couple things that you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need Celeste installed on your computer somewhere. You are going to really want to have the A-Horn installation wiki up and uh, available. So we are going to um, just go through this pretty much step by step to where it's uh, really, really difficult to mess this up. I will say though, if at any point in time you get stuck or one of these steps don't work, uh, I have to refer you to the uh, the official Celeste Discord. There are plenty of people that can help out there. If you need help with any of that stuff, those are the people you wanna uh, communicate with. They are very knowledgeable and they know how to pretty much alleviate most of these issues, most of them. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is if you look in the description of the video, there is a link to this page that I'm on right now is github.com slash celestial cartographer slash ahorn. This is where we're gonna get all the files needed to install this program. The very first thing you can see is a link to the official Celeste Discord. Uh, there is a map making channel you can go in. That is where you wanna go if you have any issues. All right, so for this installation, we're gonna be working on Windows. There are cross-platform manual installations. I think this is gonna impact the most amount of people and I don't have an Apple computer to try this out on, so I apologize. If you wanna send me one, you can go ahead and do that and I'll be happy to make a video on that. So the installation method that we're about to show is for Windows only. We're gonna download the installer and run the batch file. So we can right-click this and we can save this link as. All right. I'm gonna have a folder on my desktop just somewhere, it doesn't matter actually where you put this. We are going to save that and then we're going to run it. So let's open that up. All right, we have ahorn.bat. We are going to double click this. I'll thank you Windows for protecting me but we are going to run this anyways. It's not a virus, I promise. All right, so right now you're going to see something like this pop up if you don't have Julia installed. It's going to um, ask if you want to install a compatible version. We are just gonna lowercase y, enter. Essentially what this is going to do now is it's going to install the program needed to run Ahorn. You don't have to do much of anything besides just waiting around for this. So we're gonna do that. We can now see Julia pops up. We're gonna install it. And just waiting, 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 waiting. And it is all done. So we are going to close that. Beautiful. Now installing Ahorn, this may take a while. So what we can do now is this installer is going to install or update Maple and Ahorn via the project manager. Would you like to do that? We just Y for yes, enter, and now it is installing. Should probably have a cup of juice, or in my case, some delicious wild cherry flavored sparkling water beverage. Gotta also take note that uh, patience is really important during this process. Very important. Now I can't come into work today. I'm waiting for Ahorn to install. Yes, I understand I have an eight hour shift, but I mean, what do you want me to do? All right, now we see here, finally, after, it's been a little while. Eh, yeah, it's been a while. Done, Ahorn should be installed now. Run ahorn.bat to launch it. 
Note, this will take quite a while to launch the first time as its dependencies compile, so please be patient. Thanks for giving Ahorn a try. Please enter to quit the installer. Enter. And here we go. This is the first time running Ahorn. This might take a while. The window might stay blank for a long time. This is normal as packages are pre-compiling in the background. Be patient. Program is still running until the terminal says press any key to continue. Don't forget. Uh, or equivalent in whatever language you're in. So now we wait again. That's why we have a 9x9 Rubik's Cube. Just for these types of situations. Actually, never mind. We're ready to go. So, looks like you installed Celeste using Steam. Ahorn depends on the Celeste installation directory to function. Would you like Ahorn to use the Steam installation, or would you rather select a different installation of the game for it to use? So this is important. If you use Steam, or it detects where it is, you want to just use the installation. You can also manually select the directory that it's in. So now it says Ahorn will now extract all files needed. This might take a while. Please close this window to continue. So we will hit close. Ahorn is starting. And it's going to take a little while because it's compiling everything that it needs to compile. But this kind of um, couple things to go over too. This, the wiki and the GitHub go over just some basic things as far as um, different keys that you can use, what it looks like, any um, FAQs are here. The Ahorn wiki goes over how to, as you can see here, how to package your maps, how to modify the game code, how to install mods, how to go over pretty much everything. Now, if you've seen some of my videos, you know that I have a lot of different tutorials on how to do uh, certain things in Ahorn, such as style grounds, camera triggers, and more and more are coming all the time, so don't forget. If this is helpful to you at all, just hit the subscribe button because we have a ton more coming. And as we can see now, Ahorn is it's up and ready. We can create a new map. This is a test. Beautiful. We're going to add a new room. And looks like everything went well. Let's double check. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, obviously, when you have um, dependencies downloaded, different helpers that you find on Game Banana, those assets will be found in here. These are all just the vanilla assets so far because I don't have anything. I actually had to use my wife's laptop because I didn't want to have to go through uninstalling and deleting everything on my computer to do it. So I got her laptop installed Celeste on here and ran it like this. So that's it. It was uh, relatively painless. A lot of people I know are having difficulties with it for one reason or another. But um, just follow these steps and you will be just fine. Makes it easy. And that's all we have for today. Once again, I hope this was of use. Uh, make sure you use all of the resources that are down in the description below if you need any additional help. And uh, that's it. Till next time, guys. Have a great night.